Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. I'm playing Firewatch, um, which so far has been kind of devastating, but very, very beautiful. Uh, and uh, we we're walking around right now. Can we? Okay, we can't go that way. Can't go that way. I guess we can only go this way. So many weird things are happening in this game. Nothing? Not gonna prompt me for anything? Feeling pretty blocked in by life, I think that's what I was trying to say. Ugh. God, this game is so upsetting so far. It's so, so beautiful. Do you guys like to go camping a lot? I like went camping once when I was seven and I don't remember it. And like, I'm afraid to go camping now because I like to be connected to Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know, in case anything bad happens. Holy shit, there's a deer? The closest I got to like living in nature was like when I was in Montana for taxidermy school and like seeing wild deer all the time and it was fucking rad. It is impossibly hard. Your wor the worst is when you, tr you get mad at her. I can read. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. No. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drink, drinking on the deck, watching by, uh, baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. Hmm. That's a tough call. You put a chair in front of the door. It feels really shitty, but I'm scared for her. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home in bed by 1 p.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Aw, and I feel really bad about clicking that one. In 1989, one night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point... 1-0 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell Then they tell you Julia's coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Yeah. That's when we get to go on the fire watch. That's our tower. Yeah. We're getting somewhere, guys. It's beautiful. Do we really have to watch for fires at night? Gosh, it must have taken forever for the art direction in this game. It's so pretty. Wow. All right, let's just take a minute to appreciate this. Yes. Yes. Turn on the power. Boop. Is that the power? Smack. Check it out. This is this is our Turn homework from home. Paradise. Two Ooh. Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Oh, right. What was that? Where are the sh Shoney? Where is the radio? Radio! I know you're there. Your lights are on. Yeah, we're here. Hold left shift to activate radio. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. 
Uh, let's see. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against your mom. Or nobody back home can stand you. Ooh, those all cut deep. Because the first one's like a joke one. That one's like... That's like a burn. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. Oh. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Okay, go for it. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Yeah. Day one. He is writing a novel. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. All right. Sorry, I guess I slept in. What? Come on now. How the? Yeah. How do I? God, what did I fuck up? Okay, there we go. Release left shift. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yeah. I have okay. to enter? Yeah, I Come on it. now. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, oh, language, God, what? lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I. I. I need you to confirm. Do you see? Oh, that? there it is. Yes, I see that shit. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Yeah. Gonna have to. All right. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Is that the supply box is gonna be in? Secure. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Well, where is the supply rope box with the rope? I see lots of supply boxes. Ooh, bed. This one is kind of cute. Where? Okay, I see lots of supply. You can't open the desk door yet. <clears throat> Pine cone, pick it up. Yeah. Drop the pine cone. Um, okay, well, there's a supply box. God damn it. Bleach and pine cones. Dish soap. I mean there's another supply box. Oh, is it the toolbox? Nope, can't open that. And some nice books. Glass cleaner. Scottish oil soap. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. Uh, mm, oh, there's stuff up here. Uh, what the fuck? Where's the rope? God damn it! I need to go. I need to go. All right. Well, it was that way, right? Yeah. There they are. All right. Well, let's just fucking go for it. All 
I hope I remember them to go the right way. Shit, I'm not gonna remember which way it was going. Uh, does it want me to remember? Can I see the fireworks still? All right, M to read the map. Find rope. I, I can't read that shit, dude. Am I supposed to be able to read that? Okay, okay, there's a zoom in button, okay. We are there. We need to get... Okay. So we need to go to the cachet box 306. So we need to just go to our 9 o'clock. This is nice. This We can do this. I mean, I feel like we should kind of just go confront the people shooting off fireworks first. I'm not really sure why we need the rope. But we're gonna... Where the fuck is my map? Okay, we are getting closer. Oh shit, are we? Uh, branch. Okay, so. Now let's check the map. Okay. Let's instead go this way. Now are we closer? All right, we're getting somewhere. I hope. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I would love to go camping again, but I'm I'm kind of scared. When I was in Montana, people were like uh, talking about bears. They're like, be careful if you go out um, in the woods, because if you hear uh, a bear. It makes like a clacking noise with its teeth, like when they're mad. And I still don't know if that's true. I never like looked it up. Uh, but it's pretty terrifying, I will say. Oh, butterflies. Um, and uh, I never came across any bears, but I did come across lots of um, lots of deer. Lots of deer. And from what I hear, people don't really like deer because they're stupid. They walk in the middle of the road. I don't blame them, man. Uh, but they're so beautiful to look at. Uh, especially, like, when it's, like, right early in the morning. When I was there, um, there were, like, lots of baby deer around, too, which is nice. Oh, look, we're almost there. Just follow this trail. Making it easy for us. This is our first, first real job. First real day on the job. Oh, oh, uh, do I have to put away the map first, or? I have to be at a certain spot on the log. I am hitting the space bar. Oh. Let's put that away first. There we go. Alright, well, next time on another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're gonna get that rope, and then we're gonna give those people putting off fireworks what they deserve. Uh, be sure to that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it, and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.